Can you find the gold line? Oh, boys. Boys, boys, boys. Let me just set up. Let me set up. Let's get the link ready. Yeah, I know. I was just about to say, Torres, I think, I think a lot of people have added me today. <laughs> um, give me a second. Let me just, I know. So you guys ain't looking at anything. Nothing more. Nothing more. There you go, boys. We are, we are here. Let me just like empty some cp quickly because you got even myself to get i'm gonna get you know green bars up there it's looking a bit mm, looking a bit sketchy it's like what do you know what you're doing it's like maybe but let me just send the word out obviously let me know ever tell everyone in the servers Alright, let's just send this out. Oh, I'll have to re-verify on this one too, bruh. Not a good day. I'm just gonna let it cook. We're just gonna let it cook. Yeah, I'm pushing towards D5, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I've been, you'll notice my gems, I've been trying to keep it at 5k just in case I need to ever do all, like migrate or, you know, get a couple of thousand really quickly for, you know, some spins. Um, We've almost got this complete. We're all, you know, we're almost at the limit on all my tech. But what I have done, I've got this over. So this season, I'm not gonna lie. End of the season, I'm gonna bang this one out with the rewards. And then next season, all I've got to do is the last grind for treaties, which I'm gonna be doing with my gems. And then if you look at my watchtower, it's already 24. And I'm pretty healthy, so I do believe, you know, again, I'm going to get a decent chunk done this season. So maybe at the end of the season, I'll have the two buildings, which is gating me from, you know, progressing, you know. But we'll, we'll soon see, boys. We'll soon see. We are, we are pushing, though. And also, we did manage... And this is what, I'm going to make a video on it later, but like, um, we've got 5111 Toha. So I am going to test it out. A lot of people have been asking, is it worth unlocking Toha at 5111? I, I know the whales say no, but that's not like what's relevant to a free-to-play player, right? A free-to-play player who wants to try and just get some decent damage out of his hero now, especially with Bertrand too. Um... So that's what I'm going to find out. I've got both heroes at 5 the minimum on investment. 
You can test that shit out, boys. Test that shit out, boys. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be a good day. I need to do some of these as well. Gankers, can I even relocate yet? For three more hours. It is. We also need to capture some pets. I want to capture some pets ready. Because I want to capture... I don't know. You guys can name the pet if you want. I'm going to capture five of it. And then tomorrow I'm going to capture another five of it. And then try and make a video out of those ten. Do you get what I'm saying? Like use ten of the same pets and showcase like how you can use this brand new system. Because a lot of people are still confused. They're like, I've got this skill here and I can't do anything. I'm like, you just, you know. That's all you do. So uh, I was a bit confused. So yeah, we're going to we'll be sorting that out. So if you guys in chat, like I said, at any point, you're going to, you know, shout out any sort of pet. We'll work on a specific pet for the video for you guys. But I've got a load of stuff, as you can see. It's pretty good. <laughs> the main cell, the, this, you know, I don't, I don't like using it. Nice amount. What I could do as well with this one is like, technically I do have the one stars now, you know what I mean? So I could ha put on hit back and blood for blood on it. Whew. It would be kind of nasty. Bang, bang. Then get the other slots. Bang with the uh, chain strike. Ooh, I, I am feeling it. I need to get the other one, right? As well, I think. We'll soon see. But yeah, man. Matchmaking's here. Ooh, who would have thought? And the Augs done. Obviously, we completed. We've got our end of season rewards anyway. And now, we're on region select, man. So... Um, but yeah, we're on matchmaking. This is our matchmaking divisions, boys. This is who we've got. It's gonna be a fun one. Let's turn down the music. Probably all right, I think. So yeah, man. Going to season uh, chat. You can see everyone in here. Video, NASA, Gen V, <laughs> well, RKO. Got everyone. So many old faces. Technically new faces too over the years since they've obviously recruited. They got so many different alliances. It's gonna be a good season either way. And there's King Raven. Yeah, I just finished legit. I just finished that first aid one. I pushed, I let it pop, you know, like I propped it during an event just to get match rewards for it. <laughs> I don't know what pet I want though, boys. Legit, I don't know which pet I want to work on. I kind of want to work on... Like the Shadow of Phaedrake, maybe? Or... Hmm. Or maybe Night Rock, actually. Might work on my Night Rock, you know? Because the thing is, my Night Rock... It's pretty tasty. It's always my Shadow of Phaedrake, let's be fair. Technically, I need to work on a Sand Lizard, you know? <laughs> Do we work on a sand lizard for the video? Or do we do golden rock? Golden rock I could do. 
It's kind of like a meh pet at the minute for me, but I can work on it. I just think a, a Sand Lizard would be more versatile. Plus, I have legitimately, like, the most cracked skills for it, man. I don't know what I'm trying to max. That's the thing. I'm in a debate. Could max the survive Adric. Hmm. I'm thinking. Oh, this is like my worst pet though, man. I kind of want to just get a new one. And it's so versatile, man. Put it on anyone. Yeah, the thing that oh, Red Ring finished, that's why I'm, I'm live now, boys. It rendered and I had to quickly sort out just some contract stuff as well. So. Quick, quick little, well, busy morning, shall I say. I just need to do one thing, to be honest. Which is... It's like a quick thumbnail, you know? Yes, that's a tasty night, Rock. Yeah. Yorp, yorp. Ooh, that, that looks filthy. Oh, man. I don't know what to work on. There's, there's so many good pets that you could do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could go for, like, venomous lizards. Because venomous lizards on anything so cracked, man. It is so cracked. Shot of Phaedric. Work on, like, the perfect shot of Phaedric for Bert Toha. Maybe for, like, in the future, too. For other flying units. Because it is really good, man. Hmm. Let me move over here. Just wondered, have you, are you still, have you still doing an account review series? Yeah, yeah, I'm still doing that. It's just at the moment in my Discord, not many people have posted that many account questions. So I'm going to obviously mention it in one of my new, uh, like my next video that comes out in a couple of days time anyway. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm not going to lie, it's going to be fun season, no matter what. Because, obviously, everyone's asked me, like, so far, I've already had, you know, messages to, like, join certain alliances already. And don't get me wrong, man, I, I love I love already the, the love of the reception to join. But me being an Order 66 Merc, I am honestly, like, a proper loyal family member, dude. So, like, wherever... My leader, you know, we're Gaia, Keto, we're all the officers, whenever they've had their talks and they've talked to everyone and whatever they decide, guys, that's where I'll be fighting, you know, if I'm fighting with video or against, it'll be fun either way, man. We're going to have some absolute highlight reels to put on our channels, definitely, so, you know. I'm just going to make a quick thumbnail, otherwise I'm going to be technically behind. I'm trying to multitask today because 
And I haven't streamed in a while, and I'm not gonna lie, it's because after we've done all that fighting and you guys saw... You saw all the, the footage, right? And the footage where I covered all the fights over the days within, you know, the videos I've posted. Um, boys, don't get me started on, on it. I can understand already why... You know, I can see already why, like, people have issues. Let's just say that. <laughs> but. New season. Can't wait. Honestly, cannot wait. I'm not going to lie. I'll be, I'll be tr brutally honest with everyone right now. Right? When it comes to it. Yeah. Um. I legit was not thinking of playing this season meaning like i was gonna obviously like level up my heroes i was gonna focus on farming and actually like pushing for the t5 like i was focused on doing that right and then fighting potentially um towards you know in certain areas if it's a, a good matchup basically because of the matchup that we're in that plan's gone out of the window so i don't know how we're we gonna do it but this season i'm gonna have to like fight my ass off but fs i'm not gonna lie drained me of my resources when we were fighting with infantry in the zone three wars dude so it's gonna be a, a harsh one hit top i ain't doing that don't get me wrong i have a tiktok account but i don't know man I don't like the platform for me. You know what I'm saying? I prefer just having the YouTubes. YouTube shorts. Bear with me, boys. I've almost done my thumbnail. Yeah, and you have my unrequited attention. Do you think Shadow is better pets and investment than Sapphire? Did you see MILF collapse? They dropped to 5.5 million power overnight? No. I'm not going to lie. I had not been keeping up with any of the alliances. Because the thing is, with like me and probably what I think a lot of people resonate, especially with me and like my channel, is like I'm just like a proper gamer like you guys. You know, I literally play this game. That's like my living, right? And um, I like to watch some content, but I honestly don't get time to make to, to do it because obviously, like, I need to make my own content and then on top, like, play. And then I got a family too, you know, like, because I've got, like, I would be streaming longer today if I could. But it's like, I've got responsibilities, boys. I've got to pick up the little one at 4 o'clock, you know? Um, rasterize this. Oh, I shouldn't like that. You know when you have an epiphany where like you're making something and you're like, bro, I should have done this. That's exactly how I feel right now. I've never been in. The thing is, right? This is what I don't. Re I, I don't know. I don't think people watch my content all the way through because they would know. I've. I was only in FS as a merc. You know. So, like, me, Keto, Gaia, Kevo, Dark Helmet, there's, like, a load of us, man. Matsu, like, 
we're all mercs, so we're in our own little alliance, and we were just in there helping them fight, you know? So I was never, I'm never an FS member, or TFS member, I just fought for them, you know? It's like, imagine like now, you know what I mean? Right now, we're in BDO, Archeo, Law, NASA, right? There's all these other alliances, they might have maybe 10, 15 spots in their alliance where... They've got farm accounts in there or just players that are, that are active for war and they can move them into the second alliance so they can fight on the, you know, second front and they can actually bring in some mercenaries which are like a little small division alliance from a different server to help fight for them. It's a really cool little like strategy. I've, I'm not gonna lie, I've enjoyed it, man. It's, it's a fun lifestyle. I will tell you that. Because you get to do this, right? I get to play technically now with all the BDO boys. Who knows? Technically, I, I, I might stay with them next, this season. Maybe next season I stay with Order, Order 66. And then, you know, we get into matchmaking and we go against Noir, you know? So we go against Nefisto. And it's I think it's really fun, you know, to have that kind of just ability to play on either side you're not really like taking sides either on drama which is what i kind of don't like to do anyway you know i'm trying to be as neutral as it comes even with pvp footage you know so right i'm just uploading the thumbnail for the video because the video comes out in about an hour So we're all good. Right, we're all good. I'm all set up, boys. We're all set up. I can I can leave that. I can put the chat over here, and we can start grinding away, boys. So, quite the real question is, chat. What what um what pet am I grinding? Since technically I haven't got a sand lizard one star, and I don't have a golden rock one star, but every other single pet I have is one star so i can you know i can work on any pet if i really wanted to and the aim is like i say what i want to do i want to capture five of the same pet and then tomorrow i'm going to capture five of the same pet again and then basically tomorrow i'm going to be recording my video because i know so many people have been asking for me to make a pet guide i know other channels have done it but they don't obviously make videos like i do right they don't edit they don't do what i say right so you know, I'm going to make my own version of it. Obviously, people will watch it if they want to watch it or not. But, yeah, it'll be using whatever 10 pets, right? So, if you guys pick a pet, I will obviously just start capturing them now, basically. That's the best way of putting it. So, maybe maybe a good way of doing this, do you know what? Because I'm a good YouTuber. Which pet? I make the video focus on. And I'll put Sapphire. Great. I'll put Do a wheel? That's a good idea. Should we do a wheel? Bruh. Spin a wheel. Right, chat. Cause Cole, cause Cole's actually a genius. Cause, cause, cause he's a genius right now, bro. I need uh, what the fuck? 
Wait a minute. Right. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 GG. So we have uh, Brun Bear. We've got Stripe Bear. We got Frost Bear. We got Night Rock. We got the Golden Rock. We got the Snow Peak Rock. We got the uh, Shadow. Uh, Shadow Phaedra, we got the uh, Sapphire Phaedra, we got the Berserker Phaedra, we got what we're we missing, the Lizards, right? So it'd be a Ice Lizard, Fire Lizard, Stand Lizard, um. From Blizzard, right? Should we shuffle it? Should we shuffle it? Oh, wait, one sec, my drink's on the... Yeah, one sec. Right, I'm even gonna record it, YOLO. So I can put it in, in the video, because it'd be fun, right? So... I think I've got every everything there, right? Broom Bear, Strike Bear, Frost Bear, Night Rock, Golden Rock, Snow Peak, Shadow, Sapphire, Berserker, Drakes, Ice, Fire, Fire? I don't know why I put Fire. Ice, Sand, Thunder, Venom, Venomous, there you go. Venomous Lizard, boom. So we've got them all. Right, I'm going to shuffle it. Like, a shit ton. Right. Fate is decided today, boys. It is being decided. Boom. Please do not give me strike there. Berserker Phaedric. Oh. <laughs> I should have said no, Berserker Phaedric. Oh, the cavalry dude. Right. Who knows? Maybe maybe an infantry might inflict cowardice. Who knows? That could be something interesting, right? Who knows? Ah, uh, bruh, I'm not going back on my word. I'm not that guy. I am not that guy. Berserker Phaedrix it is. <laughs> We've got this Berserker Phaedrix at the moment. You know what I'm saying? So we can we can we can we can improve on it. We can be that guy. Imagine though, I know it's never gonna happen because you know I'm in reality, right? But imagine the day that I have this insane berserker Phaedric and then um it actually becomes like the meta pet. <laughs> It'd be nuts. Swift Revenge? You could use Swift Revenge if you want to use it as like an early option, but I'd get rid of it. I don't think Swift Revenge is good enough. Yeah, bro, it's a future investment. Everyone knows, dude. Bro, because you got to think, just think, l listen, hear me out. Hear me out here, boys. Anyone who's played Rise of Kingdoms knows, right? The way the game be normally starts is all about damage. So the game is all about who can deal the best AoE damage, the best, you know, templates for area of effect damage, because that allows you to deal more damage, right? But then the meta became all about dealing, obviously, good damage, but debuffs, bro. All about debuffing. Like, being able to play, you know, debuff, you know, you know what I mean, right? Damage taken buffs, infirm, you can name all of them, right? Defense breaks. So, like... Maybe it's going to be the same thing and, you know, the Berserker Phaedrate becomes actually a Pog Champer pet. So what we're going to have to do is use this function. I'm just going to capture what's ever nearby, by the way. I'm, I'm not really bothered about the levels because it's just going to be for the for the video, you know. If people are out of it, everyone's out of it. I've had so many friend requests, man. <laughs> bet. <laughs> 
But <laughs> if you're wondering for like broom bear builds, like the way I'm doing it. So I've got my quickening, I've got my forceful quickening, and when it comes to skills, I've got what the other one is. Let me go to uh this. This one, right? You need you need this. Right? So like if you're gonna build the broom bear, legit, just get the free star version of this if you if I think it is this one. I think you can get this one. Um I'll have to double check. My memory, you know. We we've learned too much about this game. We've played it too long, bro. But um yeah, you wanna get this. Once you've got this set up, you don't really need this, but I think if you're gonna go for pure damage, why the fuck not, right? So like bang these bad boys together, right? That's three out of five. You only got five remaining, right? And the beautiful thing is this is taking one of each area. So you got strength, agility, and endurance to worry about. So what I would do, right, with strength. You can grab Tooth and Claw. This is going to be key because it's going to amplify your damage by a shit ton, right? On top of this, you get Fatal Bite. Because crit damage is increased whenever you, uh, whenever the Warpet deals physical damage. You're going to be dealing physical damage so much. So this is insane crit rate for your March. So if you want your March to absolutely correct like a motherfucker this is the one right so you grab this and then on top now because we can um you won't be able to see it on here but you can grab skills like hit back and blood for blood because blood for blood is a joint air this is luck and you can just have like a fourth one it doesn't have to be a good um you know base this is giving you more crit rate right so you're giving basically yourself as much crit rate off the damage either you're dealing or off the pet and then by doing that, you can imagine the final thing you want to grab is the, um, I forgot what the skill's called, this one. Angry, not Angry Raw, the other one. It gives you damage. Oh no, that is this one. So you get Angry Raw now, yeah, to get your crit rate. So you, you finish the build off like that, basically. You get these. It's all about crit. Just get crit, you're good. Like, and that's all I'm going to be doing. So I'm having this. I've got two fun here. So here will be, like, Fatal Bite. On here will be um, bloody raw, and then it'll be like hit back and blood for blood. So then all my crit chance is here, and I've got crit damage. So then anytime my pet or my you know Gresh Skogel does any sort of physical damage, I get crit rate, and then it actually gives you like critical damage amplifier from the pet. So it's like a really cool way of like working around it. Yeah, I know. I'm not gonna lie, boys. The video that comes out in an hour call is actually gonna have that exact pairing on it as a free-to-play pairing because I don't think a lot of players have been using it. And I have, and I'll, I'll kind of sh spoil it a little bit of the video now. Aluin and Indus is actually disgusting as a fifth match specifically for support purpose only meaning you know this match isn't going to do any damage you're not meant to deal damage with this but what you are meant to do is amplify all of your trades for your other four matches that you're fielding right um the way i've been doing it is with this talent tree and i am going to make a, a video specific on Halloween and this control tree because this thing is I'm not gonna lie and mind my language, even though like it is what it is. It is fucking disgusting. That is the best way of putting it, bro. Because the way you've got to think about this whole match, it's all about obviously applying the infirm and like regenerating as much rage as you can when you're getting targeted, which you do quite often. And obviously you're launching attacks, so you generate rage. But the power of this is how much utility you are bringing from one one talent tree it's more of the talent tree than the hero so i can imagine in the future if we get a mage hero with the control tree like this again which, which isn't failing oh it's gonna be cooking because like you have backstabber every time you inflict on the debuff you're getting two percent extra more damage from every source obviously it helps this match out which is really good but the things that support you 
You reduce the target's march speed with just entering the battle, which is great. It means all of your other marchers are able to close in onto that target. You can also, if you really wanted to, go more all in on this and just not deal any damage. That is perfectly fine too. But anyway, it gets really spicy and you can have this flipped either way. You go like on a 3-2 combo on one of these. You can choose which one you prefer the most. I personally prefer Tremble because reducing their attack by 3% doesn't seem like much, but it is actually a really nice amount of attack that you're reducing on top of reducing their defense by 2%. So you're basically taking 5% worth of stats off them, like you're stripping that off them, right? And then on top of this, you have the silence. So like you have one, two, three, four different talent choices, all triggering backstabber, all made for utility-based purposes, right? And then once you've got this going, like I said, this is all rage. So all I care about is the rage. And over here, as you can see, all I kind of cared about was the rage again, right? So uh, that was like an insane support match. I did not think that would do as well as it did, but it did. It did really well. Like this, this match. I don't know how, but it just did. And the thing is, it let me, especially with my other matches on the field, bro. Man, I was new kid. Like, I was just straight up nuking, you know? Oh, let me close. I don't need that anymore. I've been playing, as you guys know, I don't know if you've checked out my other channel, but I have been playing this Legend of Mushroom. Oh, it's a legend! Oh, shit! <laughs> nah! Nah! That did not just happen! That did not just happen! Oh, it's dog shit. Dog shit. Luck is insanely high, though. I will say that. But I was hoping for, like, a two-star skill or something, bro. How is that not giving me that? Oh. Oh. oh fuck this game. Oh, that was so... Oh. I hate life. What's this game? Just, just what is it? That was off a level 39, by the way. A level 39. This is a level 37 here. I don't know, got a 40 right next door. Bangers. <laughs> that is insane. I can't believe that. I wasn't even recording because obviously I wasn't like thinking about it. I might have to record this one now just in case. I might have to go back on stream to, uh, <laughs> to, to get that, man. Was it like the first, what, 40 minutes? Easy clap. Wild. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this this season. Is everyone else looking forward to it? Don't get me wrong, I'm a bit tilted about the map. But the map is what it is, you know. Can't deal with it. Hopefully it's better than last time. I've just seen if there's any berserkers randomly on the way, but I didn't recommend. Oh, I need to do this too, because this would be, this is, this is a totem.
I'm going to have to do a big train at some point as well, man. I need to train so much of my infantry back. Like, legit. This is, like, one thing I really need to retrain. I've got, like, hardly any infantry from this this season. That's that. Are you ready? 100 tickets on Zeta? Yeah? <laughs> 100 ticket drop Zeta? Agree? Agree. Do we talk about them while, while we look? Because let's be real. I want to do a video on these guys again. Like individually. The problem is, like, I really want this to be good with. Yeah, I know the crit stacks with Frega. The thing is, it's sad because they've obviously put the one second here on it. So Syndron won't speed up Zeta or Magra either. But I wonder though, even if we are 10, when soon as you hit 10 stacks though, 10 stacks and then when Syndron's hitting his rapid fire, he's going to have all that extra damage anyway. I think the damage is more important then maybe the, the stack speed. Even though, don't get me wrong, having that stack speed would be crap. But I know it won't work, because this is stating, like, you only can get a maximum of one stack every second. So, it is going to be sad that Syndrome's not going to allow that. You know, that would double up and be crap. So, they have, they've kept Syndrome in check, so, which is good for, like, having a first look. That's why I'm going to, I want to make a proper video on them, on the, on the new heroes themselves. Um, I do like her, man. Damage dealt bonus. Really nice. Again, I don't think you even need this maxed either. That's the cool thing. Because this, this whole skill requires you to have maximum stacks, right? So, like, you don't even realistically need this skill. Like, if you hit this or this, it's so much better. So much better. Like, if you went 5155 and then eventually maxed this one out just to get the, the speed bonus on this, then, then you're straight cooking. I do like her, man. I think she's a good hero. I like Magra, too. I don't know which one's better, though. See what I'm saying? Once every second again. But this seems nuts, man. This skill looks so nutty. I wonder if it's going to be something like, imagine it's like Kanara Magra. Could you imagine that? Kanara and Magra. Like, you're just so tanky, bro. And you're dealing an insane amount of damage. Like, an insane amount of damage. Like, what? Maybe it is, you know. Uh, let's go across to here. Let's capture these berserkers now. I also need to do some builds. <laughs> it would have hurt to target that. I know, bro. And it's your thing as well. It's tanky, man. It's so tanky, that. 
And then it's healing now on top. Like, imagine a Kanara healing. That just sounds horrible. <laughs> like, just straight up sounds horrible to play again. See what this pet looks like. Wait, where's the other Phaedra? Go? Don't tell me it despawned. That's that's that is tilting. Oh, no forty two here. Is there no closer one? Oh. Mm. Yeah, I need to make some like Theodore builds and foreign though. That's it. Can't think of his name. I don't play him, man. I don't play this dead, dead ass class. The thing is, it's like it's so hard to play, make a, a cav tree because it depends on what you want to do. Like, do you want your cav to run all at the same speed as each other? If your answer is yes, it, your, your actual talent page is going to be so different because you're going to be like purposely trying to find you know like this this here for example right you're gonna you might need on theodore four points into this compared to like emrys emrys might only need to put one point or two points into it you know garrison matter canara magra maybe maybe i called it by before maybe i've accidentally opened unleashed a can of worms i am gonna make a video on it though um, it's going to probably come out tomorrow after the other top five video. Because I've got a top five video today and tomorrow. And then, like, a lot of my normal content is going to come back out, basically. I just wanted to get rid of all the tier lists and stuff so I don't have to worry about them again. <laughs> They're out of the way. They're done. So it is hard for me to kind of think, do I want to... You know what I mean? I might... Do you know what? I might just... Let's do this. Let's do this. I put Carve. Because this is literally all it's going to be. It's either one of these if you're fielding him, man. If it's Garrison, it's completely different, right? I'd always wait until you can just, like, blast it all in one go, man. Let let the game buy your time. Because, like, if you, if you just, like, blast it in one go as well, what can happen is, like, you could save and save and save, and there might be a vent. That comes up and you randomly just blasting them all in one go. Can you just randomly just win the event? You'd be surprised. Like I'm not saying like you will win, but it you'd be surprised on like the your chances increased, right? Because you're just going in such a big power like game through tech. Like it can ha ha happen if you're not in like a big super server. You know, if you're in a super server, it's a bit different. But if you're in like a normal ass server, like a majority of players and they're not in one of the big you know super alliances then so i don't like this on cav because you're not getting too much out of it you're going in and out too fast so your battle ends too often. 
The question is, do I go up into this tree or do I drop my 15 points? Like five, five, five. Oh, I could go up this actually. Let me grab this. This is a good five. 12 points. I do like just going through like this. And I could grab the HP. And then I have two points left for remaining. Mm. Unyielding Rush is, is Unyielding Rush is a buff effect, right? Like it's a buff effect that triggers to give you one thousand rage. Is it? Because I wonder if it is. Bro, I need to ask Perva. <laughs> I need a Gav expert. Because that... That'd be disgusting if it is. Because I hadn't tested Cav. I don't know about players that have tested Cav. That's why I'd rather ask them. There's on I might have a look at the unit hall. It'll give me some information. I, I still think. This sounds like a buff effect, man. Keep checking chat just in case the pain. Oh, that's good. All right, find some more. Little thirty eight there. Grab this pet. But yeah, I am curious because I I haven't done enough. I literally don't do real big big calf testing. That's why I have like this calf group. Where they do all the testing normally. Especially with pets and all sorts of stuff. Um, so I wonder if one of them knows.
Yeah, I do think they should let us capture more pets, but uh, I said that myself. It's been one of my suggestions for the longest of times. I've said, why, why, there's so much involved in grinding pets that we should be having like a larger number of like warrants or like even if there were certain events that popped up that promotes capturing pets so then like you might capture so many pets or it might say like release so many stuff or whatever but by doing that it keeps giving you warrants in that day or, like you know what i mean like there's some sort of like daily task associated but every time you complete one you get an extra warrant for that day so you can capture a bunch of pets and that could be like a you know bi-weekly event easily Just need to take a quick screenshot for GG's Discord. There we go, boom. Almost at this next Berserker, though. I can't believe that wheel spin, dude. The wheel spin hit Berserker. Today is not a good day. It is in my server? Hell yeah, dude. It was a good idea, but the whale didn't like me. Dude, it was a good idea. It, it, it might make it more of a reason, more of a thing, dude. Put on the wheel some heroes. Who's gonna be the first one on the guide? <laughs> and just like, boom. <sighs> Alright, we're capturing this one pet. Another one star skill. We'll take the one star skills. You know, we've got 50 50 chance it's gonna, you know, it's gonna hit it. It's gonna hit it. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But we've got one more berserker to catch. And then we've caught our five berserkers for the day. How you doing, Dubo from NASA? Welcome, guys. Should be fun when we start getting into the streams again. I don't know what if I'll stream early season unless something starts kicking off early on. You know what I mean? But um, I will be streaming obviously when we're in fights and the zones open and stuff like that. You know how it is. I could even do some testing in the early game <laughs> Tay -tay is in and thingy is in look guys 110 gems I just keep put I'm just gonna keep putting them in here dude if my gems don't say 5000 something wrong there you go. This is all we're doing. All we're doing.
Think he's being a whale? I'm not being a whale. It's only 110 gems. Only 110 gems. Chill. I am debating though, man. At some point, it would be nice if we have to get those 10k Legion bundles to train, man. How many gems do you think you should save for Wheel of Destiny as a free-to-play? So, the general rule of thumb, when you're, you're a free-to-play and you're looking at the wheel, you should always save your gems so you can spin it 10 times, right? So, it's always so you can spin 10. So, if you can do 10 spins, you're good. Right? You could literally do ten, technically seven spins. Seven spins and then three free ones give you the, you know, five sculptures. And you might get lucky and get some extra ones. And do by doing that, what you're doing is you're saving all your gems on purpose. Or you might be buying the tickets. You know what I'm saying? But you're saving all your gems or tickets on purpose. So you get into like a hundred. So then when you're at a hundred, you can like go really hard on one wheel that you really want. Especially on like one of the newer commanders, and that's all I've done, you know. Especially on stuff like the the hero choice ones. A lot of people, I don't know why, but like, don't get me wrong, they're really good for the big spenders to finish stuff out. Um, you know, they can finish any hero they need to finish, but for anyone else, like you can just use that as an opportunity, you know, to to get your your tickets ready for next season. That's all I did. How does the new season look? It looks really fun, dude. We've got BDO in our pocket. We've got NASA. We've got RKO Laws. We've got um I think it's this guy. I was gonna say SASA Laws. Um we've even got uh, Ravens Alliance as well, GNV We've got... Who else, man? There's so many people, bro. There's too many people. You know what I'm saying? There's just so many people. But I am going to show... It'll make it easy if I do it this way as well. So if you know... If you're in these servers, this is the division. Yeah, DK, ah, uh, ah. Uh, yeah, there's a load, man. But these are the servers here. Makes, makes it easier, right? Nice little, nice little. Oh, man. New season. 19th, man. Only three days. Last one. Can I put it by... I wish when it's by rare air, my blues and shit all drop down here. I need, a tr I need to finish solo leveling game. Is it, are you talking about AFK Journey? I haven't tried AFK Journey yet. Some people keep telling me to try it. I might try it on my other channel. 
I've been playing Legend of Mushroom. That game, I'm not gonna lie, is so addictive. <laughs> like, that game is a fun ass game, dude. I'll do it by type. Nice and easy. Yeah, I'm playing. I can show you what I'm playing. I've got it on in the background because it's just like in a kind of. I'm just pushing for it at the minute. But at the moment, while. And I kind of love it because it's the perfect game, as you can imagine. While I'm playing Call of Dragons, I don't really need to do much. But what I am being playing is just this, dude. This is all I've been playing, dude. It's gonna. I'm gonna make a couple of videos and so on it on my main channel just to give it a little bit of awareness. More. More about to get people from my main channel to check out my other channel, you know, where the whole, all of this content is. But I've been playing this, dude. Like, legit. Been playing this. It's been fun. It is, man. It's really fun. Like, it is such a fun game. There's all sorts of stuff, man, as well. We're almost at the stage of, like... You know, going really hard, let's just say that. In a couple of days, we get to, like, go really, really hard and power up. At the moment, I've been saving, saving, saving. But, yeah, man. So, that's that's running in the background at the moment, you know. At the moment, I'm trying to, you know, hopefully get some new gear on that while I AFK. And, you know, while I'm AFK and I'm playing basically Call of Dragons, you know, it's, it's it's actually the perfect combination. So I can understand why people are addicted to the AFK journey. If it's similar, where you can just be playing like Call of Dragons and, you know, oof. You think an R is a better investment than Zeta? I, I do, because I think Zeta requires, same with Magra, I think Zeta and Magra requires someone to enable them. You know what I mean? And Kanara is just one of those heroes that's just really good and enables everyone. How you doing, Burgas? You alright, my dude? Let me uh, send these home. Send these home, you got no more warrants, unfortunately. No, I wasn't going with FS, dude. How can I go with FS when they didn't give me end of season rewards for the amount of fighting I did? <laughs> it's madness. So, and for some reason today I've woken up in the FS, they've just given me, uh, they've taken away all my roles and I just asked why have I been, you know, why have all my roles been removed so I can't even just post content anymore and I went, oh, because you're a guest. I went, oh, I see how it is here then. So I just left. <laughs> so I understand why people have problems with them. I understand. But I'm moving on to the next season. Look forwards, don't look backwards. You know what I'm saying? I'm still maximizing the most I can, you know? So, like, with the end of season rewards, you know, I'm going to be getting... Like I say, I'm going to be getting the treaties anyway. You know what I mean? I'm going to be getting those treaties. I want to get this done. Because this will ding it. And then that season, or uh, for the rest of the season, I'll be working on this building. This is like, I'm going to be my main focus. And then I'll be a lot closer to T5 once I have that building done. Because this one's already, like, everyone's seen today. You know, it, it, it's, it's cooking. We're cooking there, you know. But yeah, I can't wait, man. New season. What do you think uh, beach players should go for? End of season rewards with magma, pet skills, or trees? I think it always depends. Personally, it depends on your mindset, right? Because some people might not want to unlock D5. It sounds stupid, I know. But some people just literally just don't really care about maxing out their account to get to T5. It sounds... It is what it is. And if you're not one of those players, you're probably just going to go for pet skills. But... I don't know. If you're getting magma rewards, there is there's some good pet skills, boys. Like this is the that's the hard thing. Like I'm only doing it because I'm able to upgrade, you know, my um my thing, right? My building. But 
when you look at these rewards, like the Conqueror ones, <laughs> the honestly, dear, like, Beetle Bite is what you want, Outburst is what you want, Elemental Harmony is what you want, and Magic Pulses. So basically, to me, these four skills, if you need them, you could get them. I understand it, because they're really powerful skills. But that is 5,000 gems. And I'm just saying, 5,000 gems being saved for 600 is pretty good. Because it just means you get more to spend here. So I could get all my mana. You know what I mean? I could get this energy supply. Get the get the ascension emblem and get mana. You know what I mean? Because I'm going to have more, more to spend over. You know what I'm say saying now? So I'm technically still getting good stuff. I'm getting a, a shit ton of mana. So I can regenerate my mana back. So yeah, man. That's what I'd do, personally. I think everyone's account and everyone's in a different position, you know. I am literally at that spot where... You know what I mean? This is going to be 10 out of 10. These are about to uh, be maxed out. So I've got only these two techs left. And I can't do any more tech. I literally physically cannot do any more tech. It's just, it, I need to upgrade the building, so. And I've enjoyed it, man. I'm not in no rush. People, people are always racing and rushing for T5. I don't think they understand, like, because I've had a T5 car in Rise of Kingdoms, and honestly, I love playing with my T5 car in Rise of Kingdoms, but I don't think they realize the, the, the cost, man. The actual resource costs afterwards, like upkeep them, um, especially if you're fighting and you want to like resource heal for fights and stuff, bro. It is so much. This is not my style. <laughs> Bro, the, the season prep chat is looking wild. Fisk versus NA. Uh, Fisk and NA versus Noir GG. Great. Bro, that is crazy. That can't be right. That sounds like the most one sided like match I've ever seen. Is it not? Am I, am I wrong? I'm going to go back, oh, 3-4. Because that, that one is valid, Yeah, I'm gonna go back to finish this tree. I'm gonna, I'm, I, I'll make, oh no, not his tree. I'll make a foreign deals tree because like I'm dead curious about. Oh wait, Roxu's on, bruh. Roxu should know. Roxu should know. Roxu. Bro, I need to know if this works. Has the developers given an indication of MacBook release of the game? No, and I don't speak to the devs so you at, at all about it. But I've never heard them. I'm not gonna lie, I've never heard them talk about a MacBook release. Maybe if you're on Mac, 
you might want to check out something like I don't know. I don't know if Blue Stacks works for Mac, but you might want to check out like an emulator or something like that, like Blue Stack, in order to play if you want to play MP on your Mac. But no, I haven't. I ain't ever seen anything to do with the Mac, unfortunately, or the Apple Boys. In that regard. I'm gonna have to try. I'm gonna have to try. Uh, do, I, do I have one with skill? Oh, you need, I, I can't. I'm not spending gems to do that either. I'm gonna have to. I need someone to know. Shit. Shit. Bro, I don't know if steady hands works. I've always been Order 66. I've been in Order 66 since last season, dude. Like, I was only in FS to fight as a Merc. And I was like, why is no one understanding what a Merc is? <laughs> I find that incredible, bro. But no, I've been, all, I've been in Order 66 last season of this one. I don't think Rusty is the leader. He was the leader at the minute, I think, to hold the hold the gates because I didn't really fight this season. Because obviously, as you guys know, Rusty's been a busy boy. But uh, it's been more like Gaia, Kito, uh, Dark Helmet, Kevo. There's quite a Natsu. There's a few of them. They're the ones I talk to probably the most. You hit hard I was in FS, bro. I hit hard anyway. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Oh. All right, let's make a... Do you know what? I'm going to make a foreign deal. A couple of foreign deal pages. Silence. I want to make a. Should I make a super fast build? What's the fastest build for Foreigner? Should we, should we do that? Fastest build for Foreigner. Let's do this. So we need this is fifteen percent. This is ten percent. Right. Alright, that's ten percent. So the real question is, do we go up to grab this ten percent here for March speed? Five, ten, eleven puts us to eighteen points. I like it. I think I'm I think I'm cooking. Alright. 
Now, now we rethink. Now we rethink. Do we finish the tree? Go 5, 10. And thing here puts the 7. Or do we go down? It's a lot of march speed, that, boys. That is fast as fuck, boys. Mm -mm -mm. Boom. Boom. No, no, no. I think we go this way. And I go boom, boom, boom. Boom. 5, 10, 11. I could. Oh, I could even take that. That that's kind of scare scary. Oh man, this tree. So I'm trying to think where I'm finishing this off. I really like this so far. I don't know if I want to go for this. Well, I don't know if I want to go for this. Or technically go like bang bang. Bang and grab this bat. This won't be bad, man. Two and a half percent less damage while marching, and we're fast as fuck. Just trying to think, so if my brain, if I'm going in, I really do like this. Now I'm thinking about it. It's a really annoying PvP or Raspo. Like, max speed. Five, ten, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, mm, 17, 18, 1% less damage. Um, I'm trying to see if it would... 1.5. I like, I really like this concept. I got seven, and it feels like I go five here. But I don't know where to put the last two. The last two's the edgy one. Two percent counter attack. That wouldn't be bad. Two two points into there, two percent increase defense when you're intercepting. Means that if you use it in the back lines. I kinda like that. Um, I don't know, you'd have to speak to Gaia, Keto and them about our Merc group. Legit. Because they're, they're the ones that I spoke to. I think I spoke to Rusty about it. I mean, he mentioned, just speak to Gaia. And me and Gaia spoke. And then afterwards, it was just like, yeah, man. And I've not looked back since, dude. Is 2%. I think it's good. 2% defense. There's not, nothing better. Almost 1% HP. Almost 1% defense. 20 rage gen we don't really need in this speed build that i've got them for i 
Could go 600 more troops. Sounds... That doesn't sound good either. 120 healing doesn't sound enough either. And then like 1.2% more damage when I'm below 50% doesn't sound too good either. I kind of rather just like try and stay as healthy as possible being as fast as possible. I kind of like this. I'll put speed harrow. I know it's going to be speed harass. The real question now is second talent tree to make for him. It's probably just going to be the cav one that everyone runs if you're running cav man, right? Because it's just like if you're running multiple cav, you're basically figuring out how you can make them all the same speed. And it's all to do with like you know. Like this. No, I don't use a farm. I am a solo bowler. Uh, I, I like that build, man. I might use... This is what I'm going to use next season if I play Cav. <laughs> this build, man. <laughs> make, make you super fast. Super fast, bro. Do you want to match speed if you had it on there as well? Yeah, I like them two talent trees. The only talent tree I need to make, if anything, but I'm asking for some people's builds themselves, or husk builds. There's this precision build that people say is really, really powerful on him. I don't use it. I don't play him enough because obviously he's not awakened. And then this is the other build, which is a bit more defensive based for like reducing set wounds. I wonder, do you know what? I'm going to do some crazy shit on this build. I'm going to go... I'm going to do something different. I still want this. And this. Because it's like... I want to be a rage gen. I don't want to be tanker. Just tanker. We get plenty of buff effects. But we want to do more damage. Right, so this is all I want. So if I got 23 points, that's 5, 10, 15, 16. I have 21, so I can 5 points something else. Hmm. Yo. Is it worth going... This sounds crazy, but is it? Magic. And that's Cav, because I don't care about them. Is it actually worth going for the six points to get up here? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, is it... Either one's good. I'll just put this for now. But like, so I've got seven points, right? So just think... Is is it is the seven points worth the march speed? I do like this march speed one, it's really good. I am going into like Thunder Fury. Or we could put I think five points. Ignoring their defense is good. Bro, I could have like 10% more normal attack damage above 50%, which is good. 
And then I could put one point into this, which is 2% chance or 4% chance even just to remove debuffs. Because Hosk is literally the one hero I have got the littlest amount of experience on because I don't use him because he's not awakened. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather get the awakened build, which people are saying is this one. I'll leave it there, and then I'll come back to it. Roxu's rallying, and I legit want to join him. My troop counts are low, man. This season, fine for FS. Legit, as you can see, I've got, um, you know, I'm on 8.4 million merits. I got over 229 million glory. Literally, like, you can see how much I fought as a T4 player, and I didn't get end of season rewards. But, my troops fucking suffered, bro. Like, my infantry, look how much infantry I've lost. I probably lost easily, easily about 250k to 300k swordsmen. I've probably lost about, I'd say only about 8 to, eight, maybe it's, maybe, no, no, not 8 to. I'm trying to think how much I've lost on the Vestals and Celestials. Ballistas I've only lost about, again, about 60k. Literally, my swordsman, I lost so much because FS demanded us to defend this pass. And you guys will have remembered it, right? Do you remember this pass that we defended for God knows how long on stream? Yeah, FS didn't give me no rewards, no. <laughs> it's funny, man. If you saw the rewards list for some of the players who made it, it is a questionable one. I think it's because I didn't join FS for next season. They probably didn't give me re uh, rewards. It is what it is. I'm, I'm only there to assume. But they try to justify their stuff with like, Oh, you didn't. You was AFK in zone 4. And I'm like, how was I AFK in zone 4 when I was teleporting between, you know, um... The battlefield up here with KPT, HRN over here, and then when we came to, you know, defend the Thunder Rock, like, I, I just, I, I don't get them, dude. So, I don't care. I got, I got Magma rewards, and I will work with what we've got. They probably did give some Dora member rewards. They gave... Um, a lot of TDR guys too. They gave like you can look probably in the if we look. Uh, I wonder if their alliance is still set up the same. So all of these guys obviously got it, and they all deserve it. Sun's uh, I'm not gonna lie. Sunny is an amazing leader. I'm not gonna lie. Like Sunny is a good leader. Uh, Willy was good as well. Like, these two together are really good. Like, when I was online with Willy, Willy would help us a lot. Madara's good as well. Um, I didn't see too much of Code. I think it's because Code might be on the US time, you know? We know what Jason's like in Tiny's. Honestly, he just shouts at everyone if you're not doing anything. But, yeah, man. A lot of people... There's a lot of people who's like got rewards not these guys some of these guys have like this guy got rewards by the way but like i i, I don't know you know I, I could go through loads of these 
this guy got rewards, but I know Scully is Tiny's friend, and I know Scully's probably like might have piloted multiple accounts. I don't know, but yeah, there's there's a few there's a few questionable ones in here. Let's just say that I've got even the data sheet. Put it that way, like on the data sheet, it's insane. Like I I just don't get it, bro. It is what it is. I'm already moved on. It's next season. It's starting in three days. I can get away from this toxic hellhole. And I can leave, you know? Yeah. The thing is, it's like even some of the Order 66 guys got rewards, which was good. But at the same time, the original list didn't have a lot of the Order 66 guys on. It didn't even have like Keto on or... Um, Dark Helmet wasn't on it. Like, there were so many mercenaries that weren't on that list, and we all were beating the majority of the FS players. Like, I have screenshots, boys, of, like, I am something like rank 95 or 98 in FS of total merits of the season. And then, same with, like you say, I've got... You've seen my, the rankings here, right? <laughs> like, you've seen, you've seen my personal merits in the entire server throughout the whole season. So, it is what it is. And the funny thing is, it's like, they they recorded data, and the data shows I earned something like three, I earned 1.8 million merits farming in zone one and two with, for all the elixir for the war. And then I earned basically three million merits in the pass war, and that's when I lost all my infantry. And then uh, I earned over 3.2 million merits in zone four. But that was the zone I was supposedly AFK in, and I was inactive. So I don't get it, dude. There's even videos of me literally on the front lines on this KPT side, rallying like... KPT gas. <laughs> so me, me and everyone who's who were in the group, we're just laugh. We're laughing about it now. It's just a fucking. It is what it is. So we can finally. I think I can finally teleport though. Two hours almost there. Yeah, no man. A lot of the Dora stuff as well. It's like. The, the Dora players, from what I know of, uh, basically either j some of them joined FS, and the ones that didn't join FS, I think, went into like ROP or a different alliance. There's like two different alliances, right? Because I think a lot of the Dora guys kind of like split up, I think, like into loads of different, either smaller groups or they just joined different alliances ready for next season. So, but then some did join FS too. So. And now you're right, some of the Dora guys are cool, man. We got along with some of them. Like, me and Bumblebee would get along. He jumps in chat. We might jump in chat, you know. He's funny, dude. I remember him trying to target me with his behemoths, man. It was funny as fuck, dude. <laughs> it was so funny. I'm like, bro, why are you always targeting me? He's like, you're on stream. <laughs> I'm like, all right. Can't argue with that. <laughs> So yeah, we've got, at least I've got those sorted. I'm going to wait for, you know, fucking the old, um, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Cav Gang. I'm going to wait for the Cav Gang to, you know. But, oh, we, 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 we've been showing these out of all. Look, this is, I'm on 1700 out of 5k, so we've na nearly done my treaties on my watchtower, and I legit have, at the end of the season rewards, I'll hit this, boom, and then, obviously I've got 5k, so I'm almost done, boys, we're almost done, boys. As who are you seeing, who would you personally want to ally or join? I don't know, man, because the thing is, I think either way for me, it's a win-win. Does that sound silly? Like, if I if I ally with BDO, I get to, like, chill with Doors, and obviously get to, like, make videos, like, playing alongside Doors, Chizgo, and all the other guys as well in there. Um, 
Same with like Akio, because there's like Wallaby in there, and there's a few other guys that I've known from older seasons. So it would be cool to kind of get a little bit of a catch up there. But then at the same time, it wouldn't be too bad either fighting against them, right? I don't. I personally don't mind. I'm just here to game. Let's just be real. You know me. I'm just here to game. <laughs> so. Oh, we got a city rally. I mean, server 33, boys. I just noticed as well, my chair has been slowly getting lower and lower, dude. I need a new desk chair. Oh, there we go. I feel like I'm standing up on top of the world again. <laughs> like, what was that? I was so low down, dude. But yeah, I can, I can do this, look. Um, uh, yeah. there's my details. <laughs> also, if you want to help me out, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, check out my wall, you know. Check out my wall, put up a level of hearts, why not? This picture is the best picture so far. Everyone asked me about, like, TA and TM. This is kind of the best summary picture of them all. So that's why it's on there now. Keep, keeps the salty guys and then i did this to jason as well so this is gonna be a good one he technically owes me ten dollars because he said five bucks i said ten bucks uno reverso card him and then he said deal so in my eyes jason owes me ten bucks <laughs> got him <laughs> got him <laughs> I'm not gonna swarm this guy unless he has. A, does he have? Does he have? Oh shit! Oh, it's low resource. We'll take it. We'll just watch this poor guy get zero to be inactive. Oh, man. I'm level 91 in Legend of Mushroom, boys. And somehow, still, still, I didn't get a pink in 1.5k. Love it. Love it. Help me more. Uh, my video is already out 20 minutes ago. Who knew? Time flies. Zoom. We're fucking Zoomers. Check it out if you want. Brand new video, it's already out 20 minutes ago. Let's 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 put the link in in case you guys haven't seen it. Y'all up. And then let's post it in this one. <laughs> so I might as well leave this server basically there's a new server and just have to re-verify so I can post my video it is what it is everyone's doing it it's good just shows people are trying to get rid of all the spies. Bro, there were so many spies. It was unreal as well. Like, some of the spy shit that went down in the FS camp was a bit too crazy, bro. Bit too crazy, bro. But it was fun fights. We'll admit that. Don't care what anyone says. 
and I've got no hate towards them in that regard. Fighting was actually fire. I just can't believe I didn't get rewards for fighting so hard. <laughs> yeah, man. Enjoy the vid. Enjoy the vid. Enjoy the vid, everyone. If you're going to check it out. Um, let's go back into the main game. Our rally is mobilizing in five seconds, chat. Let's uh, enjoy a little bit of cheeky, uh, cheeky, cheeky uh, burn. Maybe I buy the warrant. I know, but it would help towards the video, right? I could get another Berserker Phaedric. I'm just saying. It would make more sense to get the the speed ups though. I can't uh, fuck it. I talked myself into it. Oh, I could do that too though. I, I know I could get these skills, but it is what it is. I'll get I can work towards them. I actually don't feel that much pressured anymore. Apocalypse 5, 7, 10. Let's go. Oh, bro. Skill crit and combo 4.9%. I'll take that on my mushroom. 56% combo. I'm debating as well, guys, you know, since I don't know if you guys have been playing just a mushroom like I am, but I'm debating to stream it. I don't know if I'm not going to stream it on this channel. I'll probably stream it on my other channel, but... That poor guy. A uh, poor guy, dude. Uh, if they're swarming, I'm swarming with my calves. I don't care about calves dying. My calves can die all day. Literally, like, all day. And if we get another 20k, I'll just grab the mana, right? That's uh, um, 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 um. How did you upload while in the stream? No, the, the video was already uploaded already. It just comes out at a certain date, at a certain time, you know? You can schedule videos to come out at a... Uh, at any time. It's like, I've got tomorrow's video is already up, you know? <laughs> that's, that's how. Good question, though. Good question. How am I managing to do two things at once? Meta. Meta defining. I guess I just ride the nine. I just saw the 10.
I love as well when I'm rallying with infantry, this Nika Goresh dude, it just like melts. Absolutely melts. Trying to think of like what other things I need to do. I've done my Forendale build, I've done basically the Hosk build, I've done the Theodore build. So that's all gonna be done soon. I've caught my pets. Oh, I can capture one more pet too, so I'll do that. It's a good good shout. Quickly just go capture that pet. Oh Roxu, you had to do me like that, bro. You, you had to do me like that, yeah? Oh, it's right here, it's fine. I can't believe as well earlier boys the the Berserker Phaedric we caught was legendary. Level 39 legendary. There we go. We got quite a lot there. You you don't need to level pets anymore though. That's the thing. The game they've taken away leveling of pets, so your pets always at max max level. So all that matters now is these actual attributes. The attributes are the only thing that matters. So like, you know, if um, like this broom bear, you know what I mean? Like, all I do is just like, I wouldn't say auto regenerate, but you know. All right, so let's just do frost bear. See what I'm saying? Like, this is all you do now, just to get the good stats. You have a Max Shadow Phaedra? Nice, dude. Yeah, all my, all my pets apart from the Sand Lizard and the Golden Rock, all of mine are basically like one star. Well, I just catch her throughout, you know, the season. This is like the best looking-ish one. And this one's not too bad either. If I got an eight slot pet though, it feels good, man. Send these guys home now.
I love how I just flip this on Roxu. Roxu's like, yeah, man, I'm so proud. He's got all these berserkers, dude. And I'm like, yeah, dude, I'm going to be sacrificing them all for a guide. <laughs> oh, it's so funny, dude. <laughs> So yeah, hopefully tomorrow we catch uh, you know some more good Berserker for Adrix, as as we do. Um, I'm trying to think. It's coming up to half past one now. What I'm debating to do, since I have obviously showcased a bit of everything, I think everyone's been quite hyped to see me return back onto the stream, seeing again. Um, I think what I'm going to finish doing is. Uploading another video for my other channel, and I am gonna make a couple of videos myself basically um, to upload. So I am all set for when this goes alive in three days, basically. But I think we've been a productive day without us wasting time. You know, we've got the the forts cooking now to empty the the CP. I don't care about the notice board anymore, right? Um, you guys have seen where my watchtower and my beacons are and my tech. Uh, you've seen my final ranking results and stuff. So, yeah. And there we go. Boom. Perfect. Psychic like knows. The only thing I need to do is this. Also, if you're wondering, I still got my 500 gold keys. I haven't, I haven't lost those yet. I just got into season two. I got a new pair of archers between Sindra and Frega. Which one should I spend legendary tokens on first? Mostly, everyone will say Sindra, and I agree. Sindra's is too good, dude. Um, literally, even. Even at five one 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 one, this hero just does too much damage. So you just start, you just work on this guy first. You can see it's all I've been doing. He's on my current daily, you know, thing and all sorts. I have to change him back on this one because I've got Toha five one 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 for now. So I can technically go back to working on Syndron, which was like my actual aim. But on my VIP thing that I was mentioning, you know, I have I have Syndron on this one, you know. So I am working towards him. Hopefully I'm lucky. And it goes five, you know, five three, five five. Because we're almost almost maxed. So I do hope so. It would be nice.
Yeah, basically what a lot of people don't realize this Caesar man. Me and PP are chatting here. Just chatting about the marches. I really like the Craig march, man. When I pulled Craig out, I was like, you what? Why am I getting these? <laughs> Why am I getting this? So good. I've got so much of this to use. I'm going to have to just burn it all on Darklings or something to get Watchtower arrows. Yeah, man. Yeah, I think people don't realize that either. Nice. I like how PP agrees, though. He understands what I'm saying. Basically saying, like, the reason why Craig, at the moment, this season, was just so much better to be used over, like, Guan Win for, like, a free-to-play player, was, like, Guan Win's really good at single-target DPS. With your Nico, I will agree. But the thing is, this season, especially, and maybe next season... It's all choke points, man. And choke points, you want area of effect damage. Like, you legit just do. And, like, this is just too much damage, man. Especially when you're going against so many mages. It's so silly. But yeah, man, I'm thinking, I'm thinking what to do, chat. What do you want me to do? Because to be fair, I do want to kind of just dip and sort out some content because we've done everything. We've done everything we need. We've got everyone hyped up. We're back. We've got our divisions. It's all set up here. Boom, 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 boom. We've got all our pets caught already. We've got, um, what else have we got? My brain. But yeah, we've pretty much got everything.
Boom. Look at that. If we are brand new players, should we start on a new server? Yeah. Normally, if you're a brand new player, like completely brand new to the game, what well, some people might say, and I think you should do this too, if I'm honest with you, and it, it might sound crazy, but spend two whenever you make your account you say you make you, you you know you log into the game whatever server the game gives you at the start playing it for two weeks literally two weeks tops just play for two weeks because if you play for two weeks what's gonna happen is you'll learn you know okay on a daily basis i need to do this leveling by killing darklings i need to do this you know on my dragon trials to push through my xp i need to do this and that you know what i'm saying you get that little bit of a base knowledge and then once you're ready to you literally just want to press the the settings area so you go to this like this area and literally hit your create new character bro and then this is the newest server you can see this has only been alive for five hours you just click on here and then hit confirm and make your your account dude as long as you make an account within like most likely the first 24 to 48 hours as like a free to play player, you're going to be fine. I'm honest with you, free to play players are going to be fine. It's only the spenders that really care about, you know, being first dibs on a lot of stuff. You get, you know what I'm saying? But apart from that, free to players, you'll, you'll grind, you'll play, you'll get active, you'll overtake some, some people might overtake you, but that's kind of the, the, the you know, the merit of a free to play player, so... No problem, dude. All right, if that is it, no more questions, I might dip and start making some quick videos on... Well, I'll say some quick videos. I need to uh, edit one video for my other channel, and then I'm going to start making some videos to do with some other bits. But do you think there should be another way for free to play to gain access to the Wheel of Destiny heroes like Syndrome? Yeah, I do. The thing is, I reckon once Season 3 is completed and they've made like Season 4 or whatever it's going to be like in Rise of Kingdoms, they'll bring out, you know, what can I say? They'll bring out another chest like they did with Rise of Kingdoms. Rise of Kingdoms has two different chests and one of them allows you to get older heroes as well as like stuff like that. So I do think they might do it in here eventually, but I don't know when. That's why I don't want to just assume something's going to happen. And no, I haven't seen a new artifact yet. We've been trying to get um, an image of it. I've been trying to find it in-game. Like, you know, finding a way of getting to it. You can if you've got a, a good image. It just got released. Oh, is it on the official Discord then if it's just been released? Is it on Facebook? Let me check Facebook. Facebook or Instagram. Yeah. Gilded Crossbow. Skill effect. Max upgrade preview. Deals diffuse damage 
every second up to three uh, uh, legions within range and increases your march speed by 50%. You can move while this skill is active. Ooh, that's actually really good. And you should add additional value to your legions hit enemy hit. Ooh, oh, bro, I really like that. Bro, it's a kiting artifact, bro. It's an actual kiting based artifact. <laughs> bro. Like, bro, that new artifact. Oh. Deals diffuse damage every second up to up to three legions within range. And this is four seconds. And increases your march speed by 50%. You can move while this skill is active. Oh bro, this looks so good! Don't this is a good day to be an archer, man. <laughs> Bro, what is that? Additional effect increases your Legion's enemy HP bypass by 15%? Infects persist until the end of battle. Oh! Bro, imagine you kill someone and just go to the next person. You keep this up. <laughs> oh! Bro, my archers are all skill. That's why. That's why. Everyone asks, oh, why does archers get long range and march speed? It's because archers require skill to use, dude. You have to kite with them. You need to legit, like, when you're playing archer, bro, this is, this, this is, this is, this is why. This, this is why. You play archer, this is your slow ass syndrome frega, right? Now, this is my mage unit, right? Here's my mages, right? <laughs> I let Syndron even get a head start. That's how nice I am. Boom, boom. Bro, she's going to catch up at some point. Look. Why? What do you mean? Why do marksmen get march speed? Bro. These units get march speed already. And the difference is with mages, all you do is just stand here and you fire your skills off, bro. With an archer, you're like targeting that tile and then you're coming off. And then you're like targeting that tile and then you're coming off. Like, you're doing so much like movement so you're not getting a hit and kiting. Like, what do you mean, bro? What do you mean, bro? Even with long range archer, no, 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 no. Even with long range archer, that's how archer players were, were working. Like the only time archers stood still was literally when they don't get the the target. But they they would still move more than any mage player. Like literally, archers move the most out of range, like hands down, because they that's all they're there for. Like mages don't need to move as much. It's just how it is in game. Kanara should be the main one, dude. Yeah, Kanara, because Kanara has um. Why well, I'm on the pet screen like a dick, big dick. Yeah, um, you want to put Kanara hide the Frega because a lot of people don't like hitting Kanaras anyway, which is a really good thing. Um, and then on top of this, you have just better talents, bro. You have the better talent trees, you know. You can't ever go wrong. If people ask what talents to run, you can't go wrong with any talent page. I'm going to be fucking honest with you guys. Like, Kanara with Frega with a lot of talent trees is good. If you want to go, like, medium control with full PvP, do it. Do you want to go marksman PvP? Do it. Do you want to go full marksman with a bit of PvP? Do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's that good of a hero with her talent trees. Like, you can rock her in so many good ways. Bro, yeah, man. That is an insane artifact, though. Holy shit. <laughs> Bro, this is gonna be insane. Bro. 
this is what I want to know, man. And you know what's even more interesting? If you've watched my Boss Nasty interview, bro, the Boss Nasty interview, if you have not watched it, you guys, I know Boss Nasty's voice is loud. I've tried lowering it down, and it's just so hard to get it without dying, right? But the, um, he, we, we talk about the new Archer Heroes, right? And in the new Archer Heroes, he even mentions it'd be so much better to see, like, new Archer Heroes are designed to kite, like, a League of Legends hero. And you've got an artifact that's all about that shit. Bro, it's so good. So good. We don't care about this, but this. Oh my lord, that's so good. Bro, I cannot wait. The thing is though, do you know what's even better? By the way, do you know what's even better? And this is even more scarier. Oh shit. Oh shit, it's just dawned on me boys. I know this is an archer artifact, but for Purdy Sage and those cavalry specialists, bro, this must be OP for Cav. Bro, it's a PvP mobility based artifact. So technically you will just equip it onto him anyway. You're not gonna get that archer bonus. Fair enough. Fair enough. You're not getting that archer bonus. But bro. The fact that you can have an archer, like a cavalry unit, running around dealing damage. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it just sounds so funny for cav players. I'm not going to say it's good. I'm not saying it's bad, but it just sounds so funny. The fact that a cav player could just run around with 50% extra max speed and just start... <laughs> That is some good shit. Right. Okay, definitely it, boys. What we're going to do, simply, I am going to make um, some videos, as you can imagine. I'm going to have a video on Thursday. That's going to be probably um, the matchmaking, right, of the server. So you guys can be prepared for that. Tomorrow is the top five matches for all of the game. So I know I've done the the, the free-to-play guys now. That's uh, I've done it on that reason. So you guys can have the free-to-play video out. But the actual top five, you know, and this is... I know you guys can imagine it. It does include Lilia and it does include Hosk. That's kind of why it's out tomorrow. Um, but I know people are still going to love that video too. Those, those, if you really, really want to go for the top five marches, those are the top five marches. But... Personally, as a free-to-play player, I always find it unhealthy for a free-to-play player to try and play like a spender. You know what I mean? It just doesn't work the same. Like, the whole game does not work the same as a free-to-play compared to that. So, I hope you guys enjoy both lists when the, uh, when the second one comes out. I'm glad you guys have enjoyed it. Banging new iPads, banging new um, heroes... Banging new matchmaking. So I'm not going to lie. I'm hoping this is going to be a banging season for once. So with all of that. And even though my chair has somehow fallen down again <laughs> over time. That's going to be the end of the stream boys. So thank you for watching. Smash a like, comment and subscribe. Share this about. Next season is going to be an absolute blast. And until then you know what to say. Stay safe guys. Stay sneaky. And peace out.